Hey guys, before you try and solve Megaminx, make sure you know how to solve the first two layers on a 3x3 as we'll be using the exact same steps. So first using the white side will make what is basically the cross but is called a star because there are five pieces. For example, this piece is white and purple, so we'll put it over here. So solving these pieces will be a lot like solving it on 3x3, you can just do them all one by one, but if you have one really far away from the star, then you just have to turn it around the cube until it's pretty close enough, and then you can just bring it in like that. Once we have the star, we'll look for white corner pieces, such as this one. This one's white, blue, and red, so if you use the beginner method, you can insert this right now, and if you use F2L, you can find its edge piece and insert them together. For example, with the beginner method, we would solve all of white first, so you bring this above blue and red, like this, and then insert it however you normally do. And you can continue doing all the corners, or you could go and find the blue-red edge, and then just insert this how you would in the beginner method, which could be like this. And if you know F2L, an example is just get them both into this approximate area, and then you can pair them up how you would in F2L. So that could look like this, and then just insert. Once you've finished the first two layers, we're going to go on to what's called the second two layers. So instead of using the white cross or star, we will be using a star for each of these colors on the side. So I like to start with yellow. Just make sure you don't break any of the first two layers you've already made as you make the yellow star. So for example, I have this piece, which is yellow orange. So I will want it right here, and I have this piece, which is yellow light green, and I'll put that right here. Once you've made the star, you essentially have more F2L slots that you have to solve, and this works exactly the same way as F2L. For example, I have this piece and this piece, and just solve this however you would in F2L, I'll just use the beginner method, which would look like this. Now once you've solved the two layers around yellow, move on to one of the side colors. So I'm going to move on to blue over here, which means again, solve the blue star, and then solve the two layers around it. So I've skipped to when I finished it because it should be exactly the same idea as the white or yellow first two layers. Then solve the red star and the two layers around red. After the two layers around red is done, we have green and purple. You can actually do these in any order. This part will be a bit trickier, so I'll solve dark green first, which means finding this piece and just moving it into the star and making sure I keep all of my other two layers solved. So here we have two slots left to go to solve green, but this one's a little bit different because it's a little farther away from the opening, which is up here. So anytime you want to take something out or put something in here, you're going to have to move the green star piece over to purple. So for example, if I'm going to solve this pair, I have this edge here already and I need this corner. So I can move that corner to keep it in the top and then move this over. Now I'm going to solve this F2L pair or I'll just do it in the beginner method because if you see it as an F2L pair, it should be a lot more obvious what you're looking at. But insert that corner so it's also green bottom and then blue and purple. So I'll take this one and insert it like this. Now once you've done that, just put this at the bottom, and now you have two more slots to solve as usual. So now the last layer for me is gray. I want to make the gray star as well, so I'm going to make sure that all of the gray edge pieces are facing up. So these two are not, but these three are. If you have two edge pieces you have to flip and they are next to each other, then hold them on the front and right like this. And then do this algorithm. Front clockwise, up clockwise, right clockwise, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, front counterclockwise. To flip two edge pieces that are not next to each other, hold one on the front and one on the back right, and then do the reverse of that, which will look like this. Front clockwise, right clockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, front counterclockwise. Now, if you have to flip four edges, then just flip two of them, so like these two, using one of the algorithms, and then flip the other two using one of the algorithms. In this step, we want to line up pieces of the star, as many as we can. So in this case, I only have one, and I'll turn the top around until I can see if there's more. So here I have lined up two that are next to each other. So if all of them end up being correct, that means you've skipped this step. But if the two correct are next to each other, then hold them on the front and left. Then do this algorithm, which may be easier to memorize visually. You watch this pair, and it comes up and out. You move it out again, and then you move it all back at once. And you may find all the edges solved now. If they're not solved, just do it again and they will be solved. If the two solved pieces are across from each other, then try turning the top clockwise and see if anything is solved. No edges are solved, then try counterclockwise. Now, one of these has to solve one of the pieces. And so once you've solved only one piece, face that piece and do this algorithm once or twice in order to solve the one next to it. So I'll try it once. That hasn't solved it. I'll try it again. And there we go. Now once you have two next to each other, it's the same as the first case I showed, you'll just do the algorithm once or twice from here. Lastly, if you have a case where no matter how you turn, you can only solve one, so if I try to solve a different one, it's still only one solved, then just do this algorithm from anywhere, 
and you'll have a different case. So now I have two solved and I can just do what I would normally do for when I have two across from each other solved. Next we'll get the entire top face to be gray and that means first putting it on the bottom and we're going to work on one corner at a time, kind of like the three by three beginner method where we start with the bottom right corner. So make sure the bottom right corner is unsolved, it don't have something like this there. And here we're going to do these four moves over and over until this one has gray on the bottom. So we'll do it once, twice, and there it is gray on the bottom. When that is the case, then move over to the next one. And so this one doesn't have gray on the bottom yet, we'll repeat once, twice, gray's not on the bottom, three times, four times. And make sure you finish that last move there, part of the algorithm. Now gray's on the bottom and we'll move on and so on. So once that's done, if you haven't made any mistakes like missing a move or turning the entire thing instead of just turning the bottom over, then you should have all gray on the bottom. For the final step, make sure we're still holding this upside down. When we have all gray on the bottom, we're gonna be looking at the colors next to it. So here we have beige and pink, which belongs over here. So what we're gonna do is alternating two sequences of moves. The first one is when we take this out, which is the first three moves that I did in the earlier algorithm. And the second one is when you put it back in. So that's just the reverse. We're gonna be alternating between those two. So I'm gonna call this one the forward sequence and this one the backward sequence. So we start with any unsolved corner and do the forward sequence to remove it and see how this is gray up here. We'll always be looking at which one up here is gray. This is pink and beige, so we'll get the pink and beige edges beneath here so that it goes right in here. And then we'll do the backward sequence. Next, we look at our gray piece on top. That's this one, it has pink and green. So we're going to get the pink and green spot over here and do the forward sequence. Next, we look for our gray piece up here and there is no gray. So we're going to just bring over any unsolved gray piece. And if you forget which one you're on, should I do forward or should I do backwards? Just look at the top here. If it's mostly unsolved, you're going to do the backward sequence. If it's mostly solved like this, you're gonna do the forward sequence next. All right, so now my gray piece is blue and beige. I will bring blue and beige over and then do the forward sequence. Now my gray piece is blue and orange. So I will bring over blue and orange underneath here and do the backward sequence. Now that should solve everything. If you still need help, make sure you read the pinned comment as I will put common questions there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.